Okay, so first things first, after you've got informed consent, what you want to use with SDF is some Vaseline. Now that's because it stains the uh, soft tissues. And although it's a temporary stain, it can last um, from one to three weeks or even. So you just really want to avoid that wherever possible. And it looks almost like an ink stain on the skin. So you'd want to get that on the lips and even on the skin around it, depending on how wriggly the kid is. And it also stains the gingiva if it comes into contact with them. So you also want to use that Vaseline as a soft tissue barrier on the gingiva. Now the Reva Star kit does actually come with a gingival barrier, which is like a blue paste that you syringe out onto the soft tissue next to the gingiva, and then you like cure that. Um, but that requires a bit more cooperation. So if you've got a little kid, this is sufficient if you can't manage with something else. And once you've got all your Vaseline on there, you just want to add a caramel roll as well before you start to apply it. Uh, the next step is you want the teeth to be as clean and dry as possible. You don't need to remove caries, but if you're removing any debris, like bits of teeth, uh, sorry, bits of food, or some really soft um, caries, you might want to do that with an excavator. And then if you're able, just dry them with a three and one. And if you're not able, just a bit of cotton wool roll. So they're the areas that I want to do. And then the next step is to pierce the SDF liquid. So it's stored in the fridge and it comes in this little single capsule and it's one capsule per patient. So you just pierce that with a micro brush and you can see there it's just like a liquid. It's not um, a paste or a varnish. A bit more of the viscosity of something like Bond but less sticky. And then just really carefully because you don't want to get it onto the soft tissues, you're just going to paint it onto those teeth. And just into those cavities there and you want to do this and let it soak in for up to three minutes but at least a minute and if we just paint it on there so as i said you're going to do this for up to three minutes and you want it to be dry you don't want too much excess again gripping onto the soft tissues. Now, once you're happy and you've finished that, you just want to blot it dry with either some gauze, or alternatively, you could use a fresh micro brush if you're doing it into a cavity. That might be an easier way just to do it. Um, and then following that, it does have a bit of a metallic -y taste. So what you might want to do is dab with just, this is a thing we commonly do, is just put a bit of toothpaste on the child's tongue, like a mild mint one, or alternatively, some people advocate putting fluoride varnish over the area that you've just applied. Um, so it's up to you, depending on your patient. Now, obviously, they were plastic teeth. I've got an extracted tooth here, just to show the staining potential in a bit more detail, how you'd apply it. So you just apply it to the cavity there. 